Welcome back to Let's Play the Talos Principle. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'm here in World C5. I'm just gonna rest here for a while. I need a moment of peace. Destiny can wait. At. Interesting. Transcendence.html from ninety-nine from nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-six AD, apparently. June twenty-third. Reader responses to last week's article on science and atheism. I am perfectly aware of all the arguments against religion. In fact, I agree with most of them. There is no question that it is an objective material reality. I'm also absolutely convinced that only a secular society can be truly equal and just. And yet, I believe, as they say, and yet I believe, I am, as they say, a person of faith. Religion, to me, is not about distorting observable reality with superstitions, but about transcendence. It's not about deluding ourselves that the Earth is 6,000 years old, or God will help us if we say the right words inside our heads, but about reaching out to the sublime. This is not a rejection of reason, but its application to a set of experiences that cannot be approached by more traditional means. True engagement with religion is humbling. It transcends culture, nationality, and gender. As such, I think it goes hand in hand with science, and is not opposed to it. Dr. Omar Garib, Institute for Applied Noematics. Hmm. Matter.txt from 1926. True, there are certain idealist books, not of a clerical character, but philosophical ones, wherein you can read that time and space are categories of our minds, that they result from the requirements of our thinking, and that nothing actually corresponds to them in reality. But it is difficult to agree with this view. If any idealist philosopher, instead of arriving in time to catch the 9 p.m. train, should turn up two minutes late, he would see the tr uh, tail of the departing train and would be convinced by his own eyes that time and space are inseparable from material reality. The, tas the task is to diminish this space, to overcome it, to e economize time, to prolong human life, to register past time, to raise life to a higher level and enrich it. This is the reason for the struggle with space and time, at the basis of which lies the struggle to subject matter to man. Matter, which constitutes the foundation not only of everything that really exists, but also of all imagination. What? From Somebody Bronstein. Kinda lost me there at the end. Build a universe dot text. From November 11th, 2014. I believe that would have been just before this game was released. Which I think I've got a uh, note about that right here. Yeah, that was one month before this game came out, to the day. In his remarkable 1978 essay, How to Build a Universe That Doesn't Fall Apart Two Days Later, Philip K. Dick discusses the two themes that are most central to his work. What is reality, and what is an authentic human being? His speculations and, exper and experiences will seem extraordinary to a reader unfamiliar with his work, yet despite what may seem like far-fetched ideas, somehow the world of the Bible is a, liter is a literally real but veiled landscape, never changing, hidden from our sight, but available to us by revelation, or the notion that perhaps we all exist in the year 50 AD, Dick actually delivers one of the simplest, most elegant, and uh, most useful definitions of reality ever formulated. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Materialist philosophers have expressed similar ideas before. 
e.g. straight on of Stagiaria's ta uh, Talos principle. But it's particularly interesting to see such a thought expressed by a decidedly more mystical writer. Who? Let's start with this one, because it's here. Time flies. Fans are in this one, so I'm going to assume it's a pun. If a sigil eludes you, simply continue. Success and failure are irrelevant. Samsara. I solved it. I thought it was impossible, so I went away, did other things, and then all of a sudden the solution just came to me. I must have been thinking about it without knowing it. Nephthys uh, 108, version 99.8.0346. I know Nephthys is an Egyptian goddess, but I don't remember enough about the Pantheon to be able to tell you anything about her. Okay, I see what I need to do here. This is going to be tricky. This ladder basically backs up my idea. I need to figure out how to turn on this. Oh, wait. Hang on, I only have the one box! Which means I need to stand there. Fucking great. Okay! So what I need to do is this. Right now I'm actually confused. I need to... Stop that. I need to get... I need to record myself making this thing levitate. And then, while it's doing that in the playback... Over another box. I need to run over here and use the same uh, connector to connect to itself and uh, hit this. Well, I mean, this would work, but that doesn't do me any good. even work. Piss! I'm just trying something out at the moment. No, I can't actually do that. I want to see if I can make me carry it around. I guess I'd need a platform. I 
think it's much big. I, I know how big it looks. It's just that's a lot bigger compared to me than I thought it was. I had no idea I had to struggle with it so much. I think that's a hint. Trying to reset this one. I'm gonna look at another puzzle. I keep thinking of that one in the back of my head. Oh boy. Gonna be honest, folks. I've been putting uh, going back to this off. That's why the last session was for. Never mind, I thought I heard a computer for a second. So the last session was of Tower of Guns. Time crawls. And the one before that was just me finishing off all the old puzzles. I really didn't like C4 because I didn't have a sl the slightest idea what I was doing. Every time I think that'll work. No, I don't. Every time I know it won't work, but I try it anyway, just in case. Are you gonna get less ugly? No. But your texture is gonna load in. Switch places! What was that from? Oh yes, that was from Alice in Wonderland. Well, let me think. I could get in here with the use of the recorder. No, that doesn't do me any good. That could, but... I can't see the source from here, so... I would need to put it... out here... And then link the duplicate to itself from here, and then open the door. How the fuck am I going to plan all that in advance? Oh, I don't like this one at all. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know if my heart's in it today, guys. Honestly, I was kind of hoping someone would throw me a bone in the comments and the, the C4 videos. Because I feel like at this rate, it's going to take me forever to beat this fucking game. I, I'm legitimately afraid I'm going to burn out before I ever reach the, uh... Time flies. Dumb waiter. Or I ever reach the DLC. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. At least it doesn't have any goddamn recording in it. What? What?
Okay, so I need to get a thing in there somehow. All right. Perfect. What about you? What do you do? Welcome to the party. I think that bird sound was real. I guess I'll be able to... Oh, I can walk through that. <laughs> Wait, I'm a robot. How come I can walk through it? Well, this does me as much good as a kick in the pants. All right, that's happening. Then I gotta have a box on this side. That doesn't do me any good. I don't need a box on this side. I need... There's nothing I need, because I... Even if I could get the, uh, the connector over here, I don't think there's anywhere I could see the, uh, the source. Okay. I feel less lost than in the other ones, admittedly. Okay, okay, come on, man. You can do this. Why can you go up here? and the controller in tandem. As predicted, so... Do all that work. All right. The fan is on. Okay. I'm gonna try a thing.
maybe I can get the... If I can get one levitating, and I can blow the thing over on it... Shut up, you. but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't know why I'm supposed to be doing this. after all. <laughs> you see that, big guy? I got a foothold. I am the Black X, and this will soon be my territory. <sighs> well. On that positive note, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play the Talos Principle. When I muster myself to try again. And we see if C5 is as impenetrable as C4. Later!